Christ, I'm glad school's over. I know, right? <laughs> Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Speak for yourself. For me, life is about to take a turn towards awesome. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> Looking for someone? No, just uh, crowd watching. That guy? Closet fascist. See the rolled up sleeve? Yeah. Basically an armband. That girl and guy there? People think they're related because they've both got curly hair and those people will freak when they overdo the PDA. Nailed it. Okay, so look at this guy, right? Three kids in a trench coat. Look, no facial hair, disproportionate head, and who wears a trench coat? And, huh, I was wrong. Look at that. You're so judgmental. <laughs> I judge, that's what I do. I stand on the sidelines of life, vocally judging other people. That's just my thing. I'm like a suburban soccer mum, but I don't labour under the delusion of self-importance. That's what makes me better than other people. Do you ever listen to yourself? I hear it. That's enough for me. You know, because of the way our ear bones vibrate, we hear our own voices at a much lower frequency. I am a soprano. No, you're not. Hmm. That is disheartening. You've proved my point by not listening. Belgium, why are we even here? I'm a man of science, not social skills. Chloe invited me. Ah, that's who you were looking for. No, I wasn't. There's the guy hosting the party. Maybe she's with him. Lyle McIntyre. That jock. I don't think there's any evidence that he's a jock. Hey, fellas! I'm gonna go inside and get us some more drinks! Alcoholic drinks! Not non-alcoholic drinks! No! This is the real deal, guys! I'm gonna go inside right now and it's gonna be so exciting! <laughs> his operating system. The only logical explanation is that he's a robot and confidence is his fuel source. Is confidence a fuel source? It's not renewable. It's like coal. By God, this country's obsession with coal. Hey, where'd my drink go? Gravity man. Did you spill my drink? It was practically empty. Maybe to a pessimist like you, but to an optimist like me, it was practically full. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Shut up, Zuckerberg! Guys, have some chill. Go punch someone else. Maybe I will. And here she is. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. She's pretty cute. She's one of Cass's friends. I am not allowed to comment on her physical appearance. Why? If Cass is within hearing range, she'll slaughter me, even if I say nice things. Yeah, but I don't see Cass around here. I said within hearing range. What's within hearing range? Everywhere. She just knows these things. So I am remaining neutral. I do not have strong feelings one way or the other. Yeah, anyway, I should go say hi, right? I mean, what kind of a friend would I be if I just ignored her? An introverted one. Hi, Alex. Chloe? Wait, aren't you Cass's brother? I am. And with that, I'm off. Cass can smell when I'm close to one of her friends. Wait. You emit a scent when that happens? Belgium! 20 bucks says that jock wasn't manufactured in a Japanese factory! If he was made in Taiwan, you still lose. On that note, I'll probably get myself a drink. Be cool. This is a funny story. Hey, this story involves you. Oh, does it? Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum. Oh, gosh. We barely knew each other then, but we were both at this re-release of 2001 A Space Odyssey. And there was this stupid Q&A session. Okay, you tell the story. Well, Kier Delay and Gary Lockwood were signing my poster and they both asked me, is she your girlfriend or your sister? They were more interested in you than signing my poster. <laughs> they were not. <laughs> yes, they were. Anyway... After being asked twice, is she your sister or your girlfriend, I turned to them and said, both. You should have seen the look on their face. <laughs> and that's how we became friends. Yeah, it was kind of inevitable after that. I guess you had to be there. What the hell is wrong with this country? You're doing it all wrong. Excuse me? Wanna get a drink sometime? I 
I didn't interrupt you then, did I? You did, but I can look past that. <laughs> Do you think you got into the course you wanted? Please don't remind me. I'm not exactly looking forward to another anxiety attack. I guess you would know what that's like, though. Anxiety attack? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Let's be honest, you don't often come to parties. You needed at least two paper bags to keep you sane before coming here tonight? It was only one, and it's because I don't like crowds. But this party, it's it's been just fine. I I actually have enjoyed myself and socialised with the proverbial... Boys? The proverbial boys have abandoned you. No, they're just respecting my privacy. And Beldrum's just... Uh... Being himself? But you don't really want to talk about Belgium, do you? I can read you like a magazine. Magazine? Well, what about the swimsuit section? How does that look? It is adequate, but that's irrelevant. You've had a thing for me since year nine and you would hate to lose contact with me, which is why you should just own up to it and ask me out. This time has come. Um, why me? You're funny, intelligent, you wash your hands with soap. Oh, such high standards, Chloe. How do you manage to meet anyone worthy of you? Shut up. At least you're an actual person. You ever feel like everyone's a robot? They've got these basic algorithms directing them to be good at school and... And die having never truly lived? You get it. You get me. Maybe it's meant to be. Well, nothing is meant to be. We live in a random and chaotic universe that doesn't allow that for the... I'm not really talking about the universe right now. Mm. No. Bit too large of a topic for this time of the evening. What were we talking about? Us. What do you know about pairings? Pairings? Pairings, like like shoes, but with people. People look at other people they think have chemistry, and this pairing is made. Two become one. You following? Yes. Good. Good. You and me, we got chemistry. We've just never done anything about it. Just a couple of non-reactive elements hanging around in the scholastic petri dish. But now... We're out of the dish. School's over, and maybe it's time to start reacting. It's not just about chemistry, of course, Heisenberg. You brought it up. Chemistry alone cannot sustain a relationship. What's a little sexual tension between friends anyway? You need to want the same things. Think the same way, like we do. We probably take the same brand of antidepressants. Though, don't you sometimes wonder how much control we have over our own thoughts? We get put into schools we didn't choose, class groups based on birth within the same part of the calendar, and we're pretty much forced to gravitate to anyone nearby with vaguely similar priorities. People change and grow and they look at themselves and realise that the only thing that brought them together was the feeling of connectedness that they had because they attended the same high school. High school is a... it's like a state of mind and grieving over it is jarring because you're saying goodbye to a time you never thought you'd miss. And once you leave, you're no longer the same person that you were. That's that's just something you need to take into account when making this decision. Are you trying to tell me that this hasn't led to anything? I guess. How anticlimactic. I'm sorry, I, I think we should remain friends. May I be excused? Hmm. How did it go? At the end of the episode, everything goes back to normal, right? What do you mean? So poorly? I just... don't recognise social cues. Look, if things don't work out, I'm here. (laughs) How's that for a landing? Looks like I owe you 20 bucks. Oh, right, that. No time to explain, guys. Grab my arms. What? I may or may not have tampered with government property. Come on now, hold on to my arms. 